man. I have been waiting to play this. I've been waiting to let's play this game for a while. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm... I'm already already... Oh, jeez, I'm already not off to a good start. But um, anyways, uh... Welcome to Pokemon... Let, let me start again. Welcome to Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl, Episode 1. Um... Now... I can tell you all my feelings about this game right now. All I can tell you is that this has been a game that hasn't been important to me since childhood, back when it came out on the DS. I've been back and forth for minute what kind of let's play I wanted to do, but when Pokemon Shining Pearl came out, I felt like this was the next game I wanted to come back to making a let's play to. And it's one of the games that have impacted my childhood. And to come back into doing let's plays, I think it would only be fair if I did a let's play of a game that has impacted me a lot. So... I can discuss all my thoughts right now, but I think to start off, let's just get into the introductions. Let's do that, shall we? Let's choose our language and begin. Hello there! It's so very nice to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Rowan. However, Everyone just calls me the Pokemon Professor. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. I'm see right here. This is my buddy Munchlax. He uh, likes to eat a lot. We live sh alongside sh alongside Pokemon as friends. At times we, at other times we work together. Some people use their Pokemon to battle and develop closer bonds with them. What do I do? I conduct research so that we may learn more about Pokemon. Now, why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself? Oh, well, I can tell you a little bit myself. So, um, yeah, if we were playing the original, you just have the option for boy and girl, but... But since this is a new generation Pokemon game you're talking about, we're past that at this point. Actually, we're past that at this point, because, um... This time, not only can you change your, choose your gender, you can also choose like your skin tones and whatnot. Whatever goes for you, you know, diversity. But uh, I think for me though, I'm gonna be sticking with the male, of course. And as for me, um, my name, my name is of course, which I, if you haven't seen my other list place, then you probably already know it by now. But it is Jordan. This will be the name I will be going with. Your name is Jordan. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not really much of a secret, Professor Roman. Okay, so you're Jordan. A fine name, that is. <laughs> well, thank you very much, Miss Rose. Your, your praise means a lot to me. Now, this boy here, I believe he is your friend. What might his name be? Okay, um, this is interesting. So, like, and of course, like, it, of course, it's a Pokemon tradition, or at least it was, to name your rival. Like, in, back in original generations, you get, like, an option of default names to choose. Of course, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, the names are different. Um, you got Clint, Ralph, Lewis, and Tommy. I, I know one of the, um, options. And, of course, I will tell you right now, his canon name is Barry. There are also some other names in... There, the names list, the other lay names are different, too, in Brilliant Diamond. Um, however, Brilliant Diamond, uh... I know one of the names are Tyson, which I did in my Brilliant Diamond playthrough, but I'm, another default name that can be used like um, Roy, that's another default name I remember, but I'm going with none of these. Instead, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come up with a name for myself. Anyways, um, anyway, let's say it's safe to start off this let's play, um, uh, for my friend's name, um, since this is of course, since this is of course like a trip down child memory lane, I think, I think it's only fair that I name it after a friend that I've known since elementary school or something. So, um, I think it's only fair that I get a shout out to him since this let's play is supposed to relive the childhood experience. So, um, remember the rape, for, so for whatever reference, um, in reference, um, I will 
For sake of references, I will not be using his real name, but however, I will be referred to him as Abab. The man known as Abab himself. I don't... If you catch on to what who... If you, if you catch on to who, who this is, then you know who you are. He's none other than Abab. Abab, is it? That's your friend's name? Well, yes it is. Alright, Jordan. The time has come! Yeah, much like seems very exciting too. Your very own tale of Grand Adventure is about to unfold. On your journey, you will meet countless Pokemon and people. I'm sure that along the way, you will discover many things. Perhaps even something about yourself. Now go on! Leap into the world of Pokemon! Oh, you bet, Ro Mr. Professor Rowan. I am re ready to re relive the experience again. But first, breaking news! Despite the exploration team's best efforts, the rare, oddly colored Pokemon eluded the detection. The rumored red Gyarados failed to appear, even fleetingly, to the crestfallen team. That concludes our special report, Search for the Red Gyarados. Brought to you by Jufali TV, a nationwide net. See you next week, same time, same channel. And with that, the adventure begins. Man. Never thought I'd see the day where this game gets a remake for the Nintendo Switch. Um, yeah. To put it in perspective to you, this game is where it began for me. In fact, I didn't have many consoles growing up. I've had, like, mostly a Nintendo 64 and a Super Nintendo and a PlayStation 2. Game Boy Advance, but that's about it. And a deep, oh, and, a t and of course, the only other recent console I had was a Nintendo DS. So my gaming choices are pretty limited. So I usually spend most of my time just watching walkthroughs and gameplay videos on YouTube, seeing games I like. And eventually, I would stumble across Pokemon. What a gaming series will change me forever. And um, I remember watching playthroughs of Super Smash Bros. Brawl, of course, and. I remember seeing Pikachu and I got attached to it and all that, and I thought like, yeah, maybe it could be interesting, but then I explored the interest a bit, and um, eventually I, I went to Cartoon Network and discovered the Pokemon Diamond and Pearl series, and when I watched like an episode, I knew from this moment that I would get into it, and soon on, I knew that I would have to get Diamond and Pearl, and it, and of course, Christmas Day came along. I got the game, and it has changed my life. It has changed my game experience ever since. Now here we are, 2022, or 2021. Last year, we are playing the game once again in new light. Now, of course, I have many opinions to say about the game, but of course, there are some controversial. No, I don't want to say any about them. Okay, what I was what I'm saying is like, there are some mixed opinions about this remake. It may it's not exactly the best remake, but it Diamond and Pearl, because as the game direct says, it is of course a fateful remake. So you may not see a lot of changes, but they do add some nice stuff that I did like. So. I, so, for the sake of this last point, I will talk about things like both what I find what I what I find about like about this remake, both good and bad. I will address them all, but of course, I will be fair with my opinions. So, I think after my ramblings out of the way, I say, why don't we just get started, shall we? We gotta get on to the adventure after all. There's Ma. Hello, Ma. Jordan, Abac came calling you for a little while ago. I don't know what it is about, but he said it was it was an emergency. <laughs> Seems like Abap has an emergency. Something's going on with Abap. Um, no one Abap. Um, we gotta check it out. Oh yes, Jordan. Don't go into the tall grass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Wild Pokemon might attack you. You, I'm pretty sure. Be okay if you had your own Pokemon, but you don't. So. I get it, Ma. I don't go in the tall grass without Pokemon. Um, over here. 
Here we are, it's the Contest Digest. The start of the show today's normal ring toughness contest is Dominic, who was overwhelmed by his yearly vocal Pokemon. That's all the time we have today. Let's meet again. Okay, so we got an advertisement for a contest. That may come that may be something cool we might see down the line. Here, Mom Fairy's dessert is in the refrigerator. This is where Mom does her all the delicious cooking. Mod's kitchen is potless. You can see her face on the floor. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't remember if you could do this back in uh, the originals, but you apparently can interact with the items now, which I don't remember doing, which is, I think, is a, a nice little small detail of anything. I do like it, though. But, anyways, let's head out. Sat, welcome to Twinkle Town, our starting town. How I've missed you, old friend. Technology just blows me away. I mean, now you can play with people and, and around the world wirelessly. Yeah, there's that third of people like that, so why don't we just take a look around town and just talk with people? Um, what do you gotta say? It's true that wild Pokemon do attack sometimes. However, Pokemon also let you become friends. Yeah, that is indeed true. Um, there's, of course, like any starting town, there's like only like four houses or so. Um, hey, what do you gotta say? You're off to hang out with Abap again, right? You sure two attacks. Yeah, we've been we've been close for a real really long time. I've known this guy since like back in my elementary school days. Yeah, we even graduated high school together, which is crazy. You got anything to say? Did you hear that? The Pokemon Professor returned to the town next to town over. They say he was gone for four long years. I wonder if we found some amazing Pokemon while he was gone. Listen, listen, Jordan. I, I want a cute Pokemon. Um, yeah. No promises. But right now, let's go find Abat. That's th this is the town so far, but honestly, let's just focus on what we gotta do and meet our rival Abat. That's it. But Oh man, that wasn't in all the paths. Oh, what's that all about? Oh, hey, Jordan. I'm going to the lake. You should come too. Be quick about it. Okay, Jordan, I'm finding you one million if you're late. Ah, oh, jeez, forgot something. Jeez, for a remake, Barry Abab had like the slowest reaction to realize he forgot something. Jeez, I I expected the reaction to be a lot faster. Um, uh, may, may as well figure out, may, may as well make sure he got what he needs. Oh, hi Jordan. Are you looking for Abab? He was gone for a second, but then he came back running back home. Just can't sit still, that boy. I wonder who he takes after. I can name a few people, but nah, that's way down the line. We don't need to talk about that right now. Uh, but let's check on Bear. let's check on Abab to make sure he's not getting himself into trouble. I right, take my bad, my guidebook too. Oh hey, Jordan, we're going to the lake. I'll be waiting on the road. The ten million finding your lake. You're being very unreasonable, dude. I mean, I only got like oh, I can't even see. I, I only have like eight thousand. 8,000 Poke Dollars. You think, you think I could afford this much? I mean, I'm not even, even close to mastering Pokemon yet, and you're expecting me to pay that much. That makes me glad it's worse. I can't even run. I mean, look at these shoes. Yep, anyways, let's go after him and see what he wants. Hey, you saw the news report that was on TV, right? You know, the search for Gred Gyarados, the mysterious appearance of the furious Pokemon in the lake. That show got me thinking. I bet our local lake has Pokemon like that in it too. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna find a Pokemon like that. Hmm, you know, I like the sound of that idea. Catching a Red Gyarados does sound pretty entertaining, but to me. I thought that was only in the Lake of Rage, but, eh, uh, who knows, maybe we'll find one in, like, uh, the Verity Lake front as well. Who knows, besides, you can find some, you can find some good folks. But anyways, up, up ahead, we are now reaching Lake Verity, the Lake of Emotions. I don't know where you got that name from. Alright, to the lake! Let's find a Red Gyarados! What's going on? Oh, 
Okay, I'm I'm just gonna go ahead and comment right out of the way. Um, I really like the water in the remakes. If anything, say what you will about the graphics, but any time in any Pokemon game I've played, or well, at least any new game that comes out, they always seem to make the water so beautiful. I mean, this remake here is no exception. And I also and that also goes without saying the music here is also pretty good too. Don't you get a chance to listen to it once? I'll, go, I'll give you a chance to look quick. Professor, there isn't any out of the, there isn't anything out of the ordinary on the other side either. Hmm. I may have been mistaken. Something appears to be different than it was before, but fine, it's enough. Enough that we seem to late. Dawn, we're leaving. Professor, how are you enjoying being back at Sinnoh after being away for four years? It must be exciting again. One thing I can say, there are many rare kinds of Pokemon in Sinnoh. The region should serve us well in regard to our studies. Excuse me, let us pass, please. Hello, you're adorable. I, I beg your pardon, we'll be on our way. <laughs> I'll be any time. What was that about? Those two? Huh? Jordan, let's go check this out. What's that? Don't go into tall grass. No problem, no problem. We won't we won't be in there long enough for a while Pokemon to come out. Don't jinx it, buddy. And um yeah, till little no surprise. It's a priest case. Those people forgot it there. Jeez. These guys these people are pretty forgetful. What are we supposed to do with it? We can try to return it, but who were they? I heard them say Yep, yep, babe, bat, you gone and done it now. You brought a bunch of, you brought up, yep, you said you weren't being a wild Pokemon here, and yet here we are, Pokemon. Wow, the Pokemon! What's going on? All right, all right, all right. Um, because well, now we, since we're in this situation, we may as well take a, we may as well look at these Pokemon and see what we can get. Um, now then. Before we choose our stars, I want to go over... So... I think you want to understand... I want to show you... I want to show you... What kind of Pokemon we can get. Now, starting off, we have... The Tiny Leaf Pokemon Turtle. Now... We're going to Boba Pidio real quick. I will review you and abilities that you should know about. Okay, so, Turtwig. Turtwig! Turtwig is, of course, the tiny leaf Pokemon. And, of course, he is a grass type. Now... Now, as far as stats and data goes, um... Now, as far as stats go... Now, um, hold on. Now, if I can find where his, uh, data is. Jeez, I can't find his stats. I'm, oh, wait, I'm not, I'm not a good star. Man, I should, I really should, I really should be keeping notes here, but. I really should, I really should be keeping notes on what I gotta get of what these Pokemon are, but, um, anyways, uh, if I pull up, if I pull him up on Bobopedia here, we can see here that, um, a well-known attacker and has good defense. Pretty good Pokemon all around. And of course, it also has the and also it also has the ability of um, Overgrowth, which of course it'll increase Grass type moves and attention. And also, its final evolution can turn it can will evolve into a, a Grass Ground type, which is a really good really good type in all around. So you can't go wrong with that. Then there's Chimchar, of course, the Chimp Pokemon. Great attack, pretty pretty good attacker, and all, all in all, He's got Blaze as his ability, Pinch Fire. Types in the pit, it'll raise attacks, Fire type attack, and Pinch. He will, his final evolution will be a Fire Fighting type. But <laughs> and yes, I know what you're gonna say. Oh God, not another Fire Fighting type. But I heard his um his final evolution is pretty good, so. You can't go wrong with it whatsoever. I mean, again, 
I, I, I will say everything, and I will admit, I, I will say every. You cannot go wrong with any of these stars because, like, they all got moves that can one up other. They all have moves that can one up each starter. And what I mean by that, you'll see what I mean. But of course, and last but not least, but my personal favorite, Step Up the Penguin Pokemon. I mean, you. Let's face it, you you can't go wrong with Step Up. I mean, I really like them. I really like them in the Pokemon anime. And. Considering how I watched the Pokemon anime first, you can see where some of my influences came from from making these choices. But, aside from my own personal opinions of Piplup, he's a special attacker, and he's got Tor Torrent, which... If you I can already see what's going on here, he, uh... Of course, Water-type moves increase at a pinch. And his, for his final evolution, he will become a Water-Steel-type. Just like not, which is also not so bad. Again, and I will say it now, I love all the Sinnoh starters equally. They are all good in their own right. You really cannot go with the wrong choice here, but of course, if you were to go with Chimchar, you might have a hard time early game, just saying, but he's also a good choice too, don't get me wrong. And plus, if you want to go with Chimchar, I will tell you now, this is probably just have fun because this is gonna, probably going to be only one of the few fire types you can actually get unless you want a certain other Pokemon. What I mean by that, you'll know what I'm talking about eventually. But aside from all these starters, I played with every single one of them, but there is only one Pokemon that always comes to me at heart and someone I've always been. Piplup. Let's go. Let's relive our memories once again. Alright, and with that being said, we better, we better sort out the Starly situation real quick before things get really out of hand. Here we are, Piplup the Penguin Pokemon. Now, of course, we're now in our battle phase, so... We go into battle, we see we have two moves. We got Pound, which is a normal type of attack move. It's not... It, it has 40, it has 40 power, 100 accuracy. Yeah, it's a... Because it's a target that physically pounds with a long tail or four lines or the like. Pretty basic. And then there's Growl, and we'll the usable Growl is Deer and Wave, making the opposing Pokemon less wary. It will low the attack the attack stat. So, yeah. Not a lot of moves to start out, but of course, it's to be expected since we're only just starting out. So, of course. And this is a fight you can't lose anyway, so I think all we can do is just hit. Let's get, let's get, let's get our Piplup some experience and let him use Pound. Because that's what we got to do here. Because now, I mean, after, now, because now we got a Pokemon inside, these Pokemon don't look so threatened. But don't get me wrong, Starly, you, you're really cool. You, you're really cool. I don't have to guess, one of my favorite common bird Pokemon in this game. So, you're cool. It's just that you're kind of trying to attack us, so we kind of have to make sure you get out of the way. <laughs> no offense to you, Starly. Alright, we get our experience for this. Wah! <laughs> Your Piplup totally rocked! Oh, my Turtle was way tougher than you! Oh, don't be a show-off. Um, yeah, another detail I should mention. Um, I it's pretty obvious, but... As, well, usually per tradition, usually for, for Pokemon tradition, for tradition, I can't say tradition, right? Um, whatever starter Pokemon you choose, the Rebel will always pick the starter that that you will have a disadvantage against. At least that's what it should have been. But then Gen Seven happened. But then Gen Seven happened where, and but then Gen. 7 and Gen 8 happen where our rivals just now pick the starters you have the advantage against, which, in my opinion, I don't like that aspect at all, at all but that's the story for another day. Those are people's Pokemon. But we had to use them. It's probably won't mind, will they? Really. about it.
I mean, your Pokemon. Oh, there's the briefcase. The professor would have would have been furious if I lost it. Oh, oh no. Did did you use the Pokemon that were in here? You did? Oh my gosh! What's the professor going to say? Oh, not good. I'll take this briefcase for now. Jeez. Wow, she didn't even try to take the Pokemon. Oh, what's that about? I don't know what's going on, Jordan, but let's get out of here. The Pokemon got hurt from the battle. If you get attacked by another Pokemon, you might be in trouble. Surprisingly, she didn't call the police or try to take the Pokemon back. She just took the briefcase from life. So, I think... So, I think we're good to go. Let me go ahead. I'm gonna gotta turn these Pokemon. They're not ours. I want to spend just a little more time with this little guy. Well, she didn't bother claiming them from us, but... <laughs> she didn't bother claiming them from us, so I guess that means we're good to keep them, I guess? But, oh well, what do you gotta say? We didn't have any choice to use this people's Pokemon, right? These Pokemon belong to them, so they want them back, won't they? This is the first Pokemon... I think we're very tough with this little guy. I don't feel like talking. Let's go. Are we maybe walking slower than we went to the lake? Um, no, it's just you. Oh, oh, we are in trouble now, I'm guessing. Hey! Hey! It's those people! Is that, oh, is that an old guy staring at us? I heard from Dawn that you used our Pokemon. Let me see them, please. Hmm. Piplup and Turtle. Hmm, I see. That's how it is. Don, I'm going back to my lab. Um, oh, okay, Professor. Wait, please wait for me. I think you should visit our lab later. Okay, see you. Oh, wow, I guess we're off the hook. Probably should go to the lab later. What's that crazy is all about? I mean, he wasn't angry. He could just yell at us or whatever. And didn't you want his Pokemon back? Jordan? We should go home too. I don't know. I I think we might be able to keep the Pokemon. Uh, hey, Ma. Yep. Here, have you made this French made this French toast yet? What's up, dear? Wow. I can't believe that happened to you. Am I ever glad that you both made back over our home? The professor you mentioned is most likely Professor Rowan of Sandstorm Town. I've heard that he's well known for his study of Pokemon. I hear he's also quite intimidating. Jordan, I think you should visit him in Shandon Town. You need to probably explain why you had no choice but to use his Pokemon. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll understand. I mean, they did let us keep them, so maybe they'll let us keep Oh, I know. Jordan, put these on. And we received a pair of running shoes. Going to Shandon Town is like, like an adventure in itself, right? Those running shoes, you can get to the faraway plastic places much faster. Okay, let me read the instructions. Oh, um, yeah, you don't know. No, I, I don't need to know this. You just basically tilt the left stick firmly. Oh, I mean, I thought you were going to expect me to press whole day while moving with the analog stick, but... No, this is the Nintendo Switch. Like, we need to do that anymore. Put these running shoes on and blaze new traits of adventure. Well, isn't that just nifty? Alright, um... Wait, I don't need to know the instructions again. Actually, um, now that we've saw that happen, um, now we get the run issues, I... actually want to point this detail out right now. Um, if you... For veteran fans, if you noticed, um... Starting out the game, your character's shoe have this, like, stale color. Which is like the shoes you start out with the game. I don't know why they made it this way, but... When you get, but when you get the running shoes, you'll see that you'll have the shoes that you know very well. It's not very noticeable with um, our character, but if you did this, with, if you're playing this with Dawn, I think you would notice it right away. She doesn't have her pink boots before she got the running shoes, but when you do get the running shoes, you'll have her iconic pink boots. I just thought that was something I should point out there. New players may not figure that out right away, but like, if you are familiar with the series, I think you'll pick up a small detail. But anyways, 
What's that being said, I think we should make our way to Samuel Town. We shouldn't keep a uh, good old Professor Rowan waiting. I'm sure he wants us to know what's up with the Pokemon. Is that? And now I'm Route 201. What do you gotta say? Well, the Pokemon lurk in the tall grass and come bursting out at any time. So, if you're one of the Battle Wild Pokemon, just walk in the tall grass. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, just stay out of the tall grass. Yeah, fine logic, but of course, um, starting now, if we see any wild Pokemon, we'll get into many battles. Of course, um, you gotta say, if your Pokemon's health and its HP's getting low, you should go home and get some rest. Alright, good advice. Now, um, in Route 201, you will encounter a few Pokemon. You won't encounter much Pokemon here, but up here, you'll encounter... Hi, I work at the Pokemon. You know what the Pokemon's health is measured by hit points, HP, Pokemon range out of HP, the face it can't battle anymore. Pokemon HP gets loaded to heal with a potion here. Um, thank you, thank you for the potions. Oh, nice, potions. Um, anyways, uh, as I was saying, in here you'll encounter a few Pokemon, mostly Beedoos and Starly. And before I get into the details, Beedoos, she is one of the iconic Pokemon of all Pokemon. Um, doesn't seem like we're gonna get into a battle right away though, so. Well, we'll come back to this another time. Anyways, Sandra Town was not a long trip. We sort of made our way here. Oh, there you are! Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon reaches lap. Let's go. And of course, get stud in the face. What the? Oh. Huge order. That, that old guy. It's not as scary as he. It's it, it's not, it's not so scary as much. He is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Jordan. I'm out of here, so see you later. Wow, he, he got here before me. Wow, what was that? My friends here seem to be really he taught me. I grew up with kids. Well, anyways, let's go inside. Yeah, lead the way, sock lady, lead the way. Hey, sup, Professor Rowan, my man. Tell me, what's the what's the deal here? Finally, you've come. Jordan, was it? Let me see that Pokemon again. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. Alrighty then, I'll give that Pipple to you as a gift. Huh, <laughs> see? I knew it. Everything's gonna work out well. I mean, <laughs> If they left the Pokemon itself, they'll... I had a feeling they are going to let us keep it. Now, what is yours? You like to give it a nickname? Usually, I like to offer ideas for Pokemon nicknames, but... In this case... For this Let's Play, I've mentioned it before, but... I want this to be a... I, I'm, I'm doing this Let's Play as to, a way to re-experience my childhood with you all. And... When I first got Piplup... There was one name in particular that I ended up going with, and that name is Winter. Hmm, okay. You're happy with that nickname? Yes, I'm sure I am. Your friend Abab told me what happened to Link. I heard you battled very well besides fun it being your first time. And from what I can see, there is a growing bond between you and a Pokemon, though it's still young. That's why I would like you to trust you to this Piplo. I'm so glad you're kind toward Pokemon. If you weren't, I have to... Oh, I just can't say it. Oh, what? You're gonna get your knife out? I will hope not. I'd rather not get stabbed by a small, sassy child. Maybe I should call you Maple. <laughs> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. My name is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want you to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokemon. This is what I wish to ask you. I want to entrust you with this Pokedex. Will you use it to record data on all the Pokemon in Sinnoh region? Heck yeah. Go on a journey, leave Mass House, and go on a journey with Winter? Won't have it any other way. Do it. Hmm. 
Good answer. And with that, we received the Pokédex. Pokédex is a very high-tech device. It will automatically record data of every kind of Pokémon you encounter. Jordan, I ask that you go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokémon in this region. I've got one too. You walk up to a one. Your Pokémon, what did you see? I lived for 60 long years. Even now, I get a thrill as a Pokemon. Now, you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go! Jordan, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon I used for the first time was Chimchar. If you would have chosen Chimchar at the lake, we'd have the same Pokemon now. You do know you would say that for any Pokemon I would choose, right? Or are you just saying it just to impress me? I don't know. I feel like I'm... I don't know. I'm not... And again, choosing a... Saying you choose a Pokemon from... That's like how the type is advantage. I don't know. I... You... I'm... Yeah, I don't know that would be a way to impress someone, but... When you, when you have a cute smile like that, how, how can you really say no? Not that it matters, but... Anyways, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokédex. So, in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you. That's all. I'll be able to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Jordan. Aw. That's great. I get to start a Pokémon in Chatham Hall with a nice, little, with a nice girl named Dawn. I like, this, I like the idea of this already. Um, you guys. Professor Rowan invented a new Pokédex while working alongside a professor from the campus. I'm Don's father. Oh, um, hi, um, I hope we're on good terms. Don't think I was flirting with your daughter or anything. Um, <laughs> yeah, maybe I should get out of there before I make things weird for myself, like I usually do. Alright. All right, Don. So, okay, Jordan. I uh, oh, I like the sound of this already. I'll act as your mentor. Got a bit more experience than you as a trainer, and as professor of systems. Okay, follow me. Yeah, yeah, lead the way. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop. That's not making this weird for myself. This building with the red roof is Pokemon. It's the Pokemon Center. The place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. You can find a Pokemon Center in most towns. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Jordan, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy many kinds of merchandise. Don't let it buy you. Oh, that's right, Jordan. Don't you need to let your family know that you're going to be helping the Professor Rowan? Pokedex? You may need to travel pretty far, so I think you should let someone know. Oh, before you go, what's your Pokemon to the Pokemon Center? be a lot of less scary that way. Okay, bye now. Yeah, thanks for showing me all the way, Don. I'm glad I got to know you. Okay, and all seriousness, and all serious now, uh, I can't say in case I made it obvious, um, I think out of everyone that I, I think out of everyone I've grown attached to uh, as far as poke, Pokemon protagonist goes, I, I'd say Don has to be the one I've grown the most fond of throughout the years. I mean, after after replaying Platinum and uh, re-watching the anime, I just kind of start realizing I really like Dawn the most out of all of them. I mean, she's a real she's really chipper and always has great enthusiasm. And and seeing how she over and, see, and seeing how she grew as a trainer in the Pokemon anime, I really enjoyed watching her. <laughs> I mean, geez, I probably wouldn't be surprised if I had a childhood crushing her at some point when I was like 10 years old or something. <laughs> Um, anyways, I should, I really shouldn't be rambling on, but, yeah. Yeah, Dawn, I, I say, yeah, Dawn's my favorite. I say Dawn was my favorite Poke girl of every, of all the female protagonists I watched over the years. Second place would be Serena, though. But don't worry, I still like you, Serena. Um, Pokemon grows steadily stronger from battling against the other Pokemon. First, you should heal your Pokemon regulate the Pokemon Center. Are you leave one them up? 
good trainers want to take care not to let their Pokemon fame for losing HP. Yeah, um, I just want to say it. I mean, there may be instances where I mention stuff that happens in Platinum and, uh, of course, Pokemon anime because, of course, I really do like the Sinnoh anime. Because I say it has, like, really, there's some good... I'm just saying, like, Sinnoh Generation 4 had really good content regarding Pokemon, so... There's a lot of Sinnoh content that I like to bring up during the duration of my life. So, there's a lot you're going to be seeing me talk about here, because I just love the Sinnoh region that much. Um, this is, I'm guessing this is Dawn's house. Um, who are you? Dawn's kid's sister, I'm guessing? Who are you? Oh, you're Jordan? Hey, doing that Pokemon thingy for the professor. I was the same as my big sister. Go for it. Ah, so that Rowan fellow's back. He's quite the remarkable man. He's been studying Pokemon since way, way back. My son and granddad helped Rowan with his studies now. I'm guessing he's the grandfather. And up here, um, I'm guessing this is Don's bedroom. Clearly sits, shares with a kid sister. I really should not here. Alright, anyways, um... With that being said, I really think we should be making our way back to Twilly Town. Because we gotta tell, we gotta tell Ma that we gotta go on a journey and make, catch, catch them Pokemon. I mean, that's what any, what any 10-year-old trainer would do. That's what any 10-year-old trainer or 15-year-old trainer would do, right? If we're even 10, that is. Anyways, um, it wasn't long, that wasn't a long trek, so... Let's go ahead and say goodbye to Ma now. Hey Ma, just got a call to uh, go on a journey and save the world and such. Gotta go. Oh, wait, sure, I guess I can have dinner first. What's up, Jordan? Wow, Professor Rowan asked you to do something that big. Okay, dear, go for it. Your mom's got your bag. Wow. A lot more supportive, a lot more supportive than I thought you'd be. Worked out so well. Oh, I know. Jordan, I got something useful to find useful. Oh, a guidebook. I love tutorials. I'm probably never gonna read this. That's the guidebook. Take a look at it when you are curious about when someone will have questions during your adventure. You may find NASA. Gee. A journey full of adventure. I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. Wish I could go instead. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'll be right at my- I'll be alright by myself, dear. So go and enjoy your adventure. Yes. When you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations, it makes your mother happy too. But please come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught, dear. Oh yes, the guidebook. Useful information on your adventure will be added to this guidebook. You can check it in your bag's eyes and keys, key out his pocket. Alright. I'll never gonna look at this. Excuse me, is my little babe up here? No, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? Wow. Someone clearly didn't tell their ma the news. He just ran off and... How careless of you, Abap. That boy sh... That boy shouted about going on the adventure and he bolted. So it's strong and reckless. At least I wanted him to take... I at least wanted him to take this. Not to worry. Jordan will deliver that to him. Yeah, if I can catch up to him, that is. Won't you? No, well, I'll try. Can't make any promises, knowing him, he's already... probably on the other side of the country by now. Oh, really? Do that for me? Jordan, please take the ZA for me. And with that, we attained the parcel. Bye-bye, Jordan. Enjoy your new adventure. Let me think. Oh, my boy. We would probably head straight to Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my ABAP. And with that, our journey has officially began. I realize it's a bit of a shaky start, but I'm I'm still getting back into the jits of doing commentary. I'll I'll be looking. I hope I can improve as I keep going along with making these videos again and get back into swings of things. But um, in the meantime, we'll call it quits here for the meantime. I say we got some good headway and get ourselves introduced to the series. So, 
next time on Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl, we'll take off on our journey at long last and learn the ropes. Maybe catch a new Pokemon away. And hopefully run into Abap, assuming he hasn't fled the country already. But until then, I will see you guys then. This is Kopika, signing off.